Hello everyone, welcome to a new chapter. In this video, we are going to have an overview of mass wasting. So, what is mass wasting? Well, mass wasting is the downslope mass movement of rock, regardless, and soil under the influence of gravity. So, when we have movement of rock, regardless, and soil on a slope, that is mass wasting. Notice that if we have a flat land, we will not have any mass wasting because we don't have a slope, and in turn, we don't have any movement of rocks. In space and in zero gravity, since we don't have any force that can act on a rock and move it, we will not have any mass wasting but on the ground on earth we have slopes and we have gravity this leads to downslope movement of rocks that are called mass wasting and sometimes they are called landslides in the more popular term but you have to keep in mind that landslides or mass wasting excludes material transported downslope by streams and wind when the transporting medium is water or wind then that is not mass wasting basically you will have a stream but when the transporting medium is not water is not wind but actually the rocks are falling under the influence of gravity then that is mass wasting and I think these pictures capture the gravity of mass wasting as you can see on a steep mountain and usually when you have a road there are signs that says there will be a landslide rocks will be falling and as you can see in this picture a lot of rocks has fallen or in an area that is away from human reach as you can see we had a landslide we had a mass wasting a lot of material on top of this mountain came down and created this huge landslide everything that is on the way of the landslide will be wiped away if you have a fast movement of rocks regardless and soil coming down the slope two factors go into mass wasting and they are weathering and gravity gravity you know we have to have a gravity we have to have a force that acts on the rocks to move down slope but weathering has to also occur weathering is just breakdown of material by the surrounding conditions so when you have rocks that are intact they will not fall they will not create a landslide they will not create a mass wasting but when weathering slowly breaks around rock down the forces that keeps the parts of that big rock will decrease over time and slowly the force of gravity will act on that broken down rock and eventually landslides or mass wasting occurs so weathering has to affect rocks soil and materials generally in order to break them into parts for the force of gravity to act on them eventually and move them down slope so what are the types of mass wasting well we have several types we have slumps we have rocks and debris fall we have rock and debris slides we have flows we have creeps we have solar flexion and we have permafrost so i've classified these based on colors because these ones the yellow ones are fast movement we have a fast movement of rocks debris and regolith down slope but the other ones, creep, solar flexion, and permafrost is a slow movement of rock materials. So either you have a fast movement of material downslope under the influence of gravity, or you have a slow movement of rock materials downslope under the influence of gravity. We'll talk about each of these in later lectures. So now we know the types of landslides and mass wasting, but what triggers mass wasting or landslides? Well, we have several reasons. We have saturated water. If we have too much water in soil, the connection or the bonding between the rock material will be loose and therefore will be easy for gravity to act on them and create landslide. Over steep and slope also can create mass wasting because if you have a very sharp slope all the materials will come down slope they will not stay on it. Earthquakes also create landslides or mass wasting. Removal of vegetation since vegetation will keep the soil intact the roots will keep the material together but if you don't have any vegetation then there is nothing to keep all the rag materials together and therefore you will have landslides or mass wasting. Finally you have removal of support. Nature sometimes creates support for rock materials and regolith to stay on top of a hill, but when these supports are removed, then you'll have a landslide and all the rock material will come down slope. So these are the triggers. We have a lot of triggers, but these are the major ones that cause landslides or mass wasting. And with this, we come to the end of our lecture. To recap, 